I don't know if this is his daughter. I don't know if this is his actual servant. I don't know if this is a soldier that he leads, commands, or works with. But I know that somebody in his house has a condition that's not a reflection of what he believes. And he tells him, all I need you to do, he says, all I need you to do is send the word. And for somebody on tonight, that's good that all you need is a word from the Lord. I'm not talking about one press. I'm not talking about one prayer. I'm not talking about one shout. I'm, I'm talking about your one word. Your one word, one word from a healing, one, one word from being set free, one, one word from walking into your destiny. You're one word on tonight. One, one word away. One word away. One, one word away. He says, send the word. Send the word. Send the word. Send, send, send the word. Send the word. somewhere in the envelopment of life you need him to re-speak it you need him to reassure you you need him to tell you again that that same word you're not looking for a paragraph you're not looking for an entire book God I just need to make sure that what I heard is what you said what I heard was the word what I what I heard was was the Lord I need to make sure I don't need you to change everything that I can he said, I can go back home. I can even go back home to it being sick. I, I can even go back home to taking care of it. I can even go back home to a place where I know it'll never get up. But I, I, I just need you to send the word that it won't die. I, don't let it die. Many times we get sidetracked by the prosperity of life that we forget the pleasure to live in life is that, is that you have the ability to be alive. And he says, I'm looking at something that's not even enjoying it. So I'm under authority. He says, I'm a man of authority. And I have people under my authority. I tell one to go this way and he goes. I tell the other one to go that way and he, he goes. And he says, but this is out of my control. I can't. And so since I'm under authority and I know I can't, I have to go to the one that I can't but can. And he says, send the word. Send the, send the word that it'll live and shall not die. Send Send the word that that we should have in abundance and never be in depletion. That we would go from young to old and never, never, never see the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. That he would send the word that in the time of trouble that he would raise up a standard that, that God, I need you to send the word that everything under my roof, under my house, under under my blood is under your blood. Is that I need you to send send the word. Not, not because I haven't heard the word, because I know how to find the word. I need you to confirm in the word that it was for me. It was for me. And so many times, so many times we want to grab hold of prophecy that's general, that's for everybody. But God, I need something. I need, I need to know what the word is for me. Do I thrive? Do I survive? Do, do I get through the night? Send the word. Send the word that you can overcome. You can. Not y'all, you. Send the word that I'm bigger than this. Not, not we. Can, can I overcome it by myself? Send the word that it won't be taken, repossessed, cut off, changed. It won't break up. It won't end in fight, in defeat. It won't end in divorce. It won't end in abortion. It won't. It won't end in misconception. I need to know for me what the word for me is. And Jesus has to turn around everybody around him. 
He says, this is the model of what your faith should be. This, this is how you ought to be. He says, go. When you walk into your house, everything you believe, by God, may you receive. May, may, may you walk into a place that you left dead but walk back into it where it's alive. May you, may you come out of a place fired but go back into it and hiring people. May, may you be able to deliver what was holding you captive. Can, can you set free what was holding you? May you walk in different than the way you came out. Is that, is that on tonight somebody's coming out of something that was holding hostage. Some, some, somebody's being set free from, from some things that would be holding you, your daddy and your granddaddy. I'm, I'm talking about this is generational doubt. And God says, I, I'm coming to identify and find you out. And he says, just send the word. Send the word. The word I have for you on tonight is that it shall not die, but it shall live. It's, it's going to overcome. It's going to, you're going to outgrow it. you you're going to outlive it. Is that their doubt doesn't determine your outcome. You, you going to outlive this one. You, you're going to see it through. Is that people who want to speak death over you, they won't bury you in this season. You'll, you'll be in attendance. You'll, you'll, you'll be on site. You'll, you'll be the preacher, the singer, the, the usher for what it was, their demise of their funeral because they spoke against the word God said over you, you come against the God that spoke to me. It is you're tampering with destiny, and it is Jesus says, Father, forgive them because they touched your child. They they would they would mess with something that was unmessable. They 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 would mess up the word, dispute the doubt. They. They, they will come against the faith of a believer who believed in somebody greater than them. So it does not matter what it looks like. It does not matter what they say. It don't matter where they would give up hope. People can leave you and not love you and turn against you and never talk to you again. But I tell you something on tonight that if God be for you, God be for you. He'll send that word that he's more than the world against you. If God before you is that you have teeny tiny faith, you can say to this mountain, get up and go. If God, if God before you is that you can make the wind and the waves obey you by your voice, by what it is that he says, all power do I give unto you that you may be able to tread on serpents, that you'll be able to touch the sick and they recover, that you can put your hands on the blind, call them to see, and they will, the lame to walk. Don't you would be doubting yourself. And I tell you, in this season, you have to learn to speak the belief. So don't go back into what they say. You can receive exactly what you believe. Not, not their word of doubt, but your word of confirmation that I heard from he told Rebecca, though it may tarry, wait on it. Wait on it. Wait on it that the word of the Lord will never return unto him void. Wait, wait on it that they that wait on the Lord, he will renew their strength. Wait, wait on him that hereafter you've suffered a little while, is that he is faithful.